everybody it's feral black I'm bringing you another review this time it's the uh, Mezco earthworm gem figure uh, this is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive so it's a bit different it has a pearl like metallic finish on the white well actually all over the figure the blue as well the gun uh, it comes with uh, the blaster in his hand and it also comes with a bendable earthworm gem figure now the head sculpt that's what I want to get into first it's a tad different than the original version of this figure the regular retail version this one has a almost nice guy look to him which I like the face I mean I, I think they capture earthworm gem pretty good but I like this face as well and there's no way to swap the parts out which I thought you could I thought you could take the head off of the bend of the body and stick it on this head so you can't so what I'm going to be doing probably is cutting the head and fixing it to the peg that holds this head in place. Um, this is a nice figure. It, uh, as far as articulation, it says it has eight points. I know that his head is on the ball joint and it has a very nice range of motion. His eyes are painted off to the side, so there's no real looking forward for him. Uh, he holds the blaster very nice. And his hands, they're, they're sort of soft, they're a little bendable. So, single hinge, elbow joint, that's what you get out of it. Uh, up and down movement, as well as outward movement. Get to about there, so. You have a waist swivel. The arms, or the, well, the forearms rather turn, and that's it. There's no leg articulation at all, which is a little disappointing. I guess it's kind of hard to make those skinny legs hold this figure up, but I don't know. Like I said, it's just a tad bit disappointing. Um really not much to say about him I don't know how much he retail for I think 25 bucks maybe maybe a little less he's not worth 25 bucks at all uh, 15 is probably about high as I would go for him and that's just to have him in my collection like, like I say he sculpted very nice but I don't think he's worth $25 back of the suit his backpack has his uh, I'm always, I never understood what that was holster or something I don't know but it's okay I got this figure from not from the con but from Solid Snake or Solid Snake in my plant pants as you guys might know him from YouTube but um I traded him a um <laughs> Darth Malgus for this figure and maybe some people say what you traded Malgus for that I have no interest in Malgus is he's not doing any good at my home he wants him so he might as well go there you know I've been knowing the dude from uh, Marvelous News for a couple of years now good dude never had a problem with him at all so hey but um uh, like I said, I like the figure. Good likeness. Actually, actually, it's an excellent likeness. 
uh, I recommend that you video game fans pick one up because you you probably won't be getting another earthworm gem figure anytime soon so trying to hold out for one with articulated legs might work for you I doubt it uh, it's really not much to say that's pretty much the review uh, no QC problems no paint slop uh, pretty nice figure with that being said this is Feral Black and as always peace and love crispy.